Today, I will be attempting to defeat Terraria while my viewers chase me down. It's a classic manhunt, but a little different. I streamed my every move live for my viewers to see, meaning they know where I am at all times. Of course, this would normally make this just about impossible, with some 20 or more hunters on my tail, but I start out with Hermes boots, a horseshoe, a pixel, and several bomb variants that help keep me alive. But because I can't stop making things harder for myself than they need to be, after every death, they get to choose one thing in my inventory that I have to drop outside of the tools I started with. I don't like my chances, but let's see how far I can get. I open up the world without telling my viewers so I can get myself a head start, but immediately I run into a problem because I remap my controls for the One Year One World series and that'd be a serious problem if I left it on. I even fumbled around trying to remember how to remap them, but thankfully my viewers were slow to catch on and I was able to rush into a nearby cave. I was so afraid of leading them directly to my location that I refused to place torches and instead of going straight down the cave, I started mining in the dark. I mined for a little while, but I stumbled upon my first golden chest, and although the flare gun was disappointing, I did get my hands on a gravitation potion, and I bet I'm the first one to get one, which means I need to go to the skies now. What? <laughs> Teleporting home is absolutely terrifying. I never know who might be there or if some trap has been set up. It's also the easiest place for people to find me. It's just a terrible place to be, but it had to be done for the sake of getting to space where the Sky Islands are supposed to be. I flew along for quite a while and wasn't finding any, so I risked it again by teleporting home and immediately floating back up to space. At last, I found an island. I really need a weapon and I was hoping for a Star Fury, but then I got a shiny red balloon. It's nice, but I need a good weapon, really. Early game, the Pixaw can function as a weapon, I guess, but it won't work for that long. It was while I was floating up here that I came to a terrible realization. Oh, wait. Oh, oh you guys can rumble to each other. Ooh. Ooh, that's... I forgot about that fact. Oh, boy. This, is, this, this might be rough. The reason this is such a big deal is because if one person finds me, the others can teleport to that person. And in no time at all, I can be swarmed by a small army. So even one person can be a massive threat. It took a while, but I finally found a second sky island. It's a lake and another island next door that has another shiny red balloon, which I guess can function as a backup. My potion has also run out, so I jump off the other side only to realize a second too late that there was another island within jumping distance, but it's too late now. I guess I could maybe have blocked up there, but I didn't think to do so, so I started mining straight into the jungle. Not only is it the largest biome, and thus I should be hard to find, but there's also so many things I can get down here. I got my eyes set on a leaf blade, a boomstick, and jungle armor, and I'm confident I can get them in no time at all. I find my first golden treasure chest in the jungle, and it's another stinking flare gun, but at least I did get teleportation potions. Also at this point, my inventory was a bit full, so I started throwing away all the items I couldn't keep into the trash, so that way the hunters couldn't use the loot either. The next chest was trapped, and these things are legitimately dangerous since I'm trying to go as fast as I can and whenever I see them, even after spotting the traps, my reflexes want to open up the chest the second I see them. So I have to mentally remind myself over and over not to open these things before disarming them. I got a magic mirror, which sucks. <laughs> I'm getting terrible loot, but this wasn't the half of it yet. The hunters had also apparently broken a shadow orb or two because the goblet army was approaching. The funny thing about this event is that my viewers also need to get good gear, so I won't be the only one trying to progress in the game. They just have to be more strategic about it. Now this is in classic mode, so bosses won't scale, thus making it possible for me to win in the first place, and I can only claim victory over a boss so long as I participate in a battle in literally any capacity, even if it's just one rogue shot from a distance. Basically, the only way it won't count is if I'm nowhere nearby. I don't need to beat every boss, in fact, the only one I technically have to beat is Moonlord, I guess. So for the most part, I could just ride off of the progress the hunters decide to make. With that out of the way, I continue finding treasure in the jungle while my viewers fight goblins, moving the world closer to being able to spawn the ever so helpful Goblin Tinkerer. I found three ivy chests but none of them had the shotgun I was hoping for, and a golden chest which gave me shoe spikes. I'm not getting anything all that helpful here, but I guess I have collected some stingers and spores. Another ivy chest got me butt kiss and I acquire a cloud in a bottle from a mahogany chest. Finally, something I can use. 
I set up a quick crafting station to see what I could make at this point, but the only thing of interest was a jungle hat. Time for some more ivy chests, which once again don't have a gosh darn stinking shotgun. I mined some obsidian, anticipating I'll need it in the future, and you might be wondering where the hunters are at this point. Well, remember, I started off with all kinds of gear to allow me to move fast, but it won't be long until they are strong enough to pursue. Speaking of, I was looting another chest that didn't have a shotgun when these two hunters came rolling by. Thorven, is that you? Yeah. No. I don't know why not everyone's in the chest. That's him, that's him, I found him! No! No! Not where me! Where where that's where not me! He's gonna burn himself. I escaped one of them, but the other was in hot pursuit, so instead of running away, I stopped to check yet another ivy chest that didn't have the stupid boomstick. What does a man have to do to get a boomstick? This is like the 10th one of these chests I've opened, and since the hunter seemingly lost track of me, I opened another ivy chest that also didn't have a boomstick. Where is this thing? I should have left the jungle by now and been on to the next phase of my plan at this point, but I'm stuck in the jungle where the hunter found me again. But thankfully, he's got nothing. I the closest got person oh, no. near Floor again. <laughs> Guys, teleport to Marshmallow. He's stabbing me with a spear. I'm not gonna win, I have no armor. <laughs> Generally speaking, I preferred fleeing whenever someone found me because there was no telling when someone might wormhole to my pursuer. But sometimes I guess you gotta play aggressive. They can't wormhole, there's no one to wormhole to after all. At this point, my lack of a boomstick had reached the point of absurdity. I was mining all over the place and picking up anything I could and even came across this mass of stone which I was confused by for a second and then I realized it was a shimmer. It's kind of exciting to find it, I guess, but at the same time there isn't really anything it's good for, at least not in the moment. I shimmer a heart crystal, but that was it before I jumped in and let the shimmer take me wherever it wanted. It took me to a chest with a backup cloud in a bottle, which is nice. I got a second backup, which is just so awesome, but I mention it because there were two obsidian skin potions in the same chest, and I didn't even realize these could be found outside of the underworld, so that'll be very handy when I finally mine down there and collect Hellstone. I guess now that I think about it, I already am kind of in the underworld, but somehow it hadn't even occurred to me to mine some Hellstone right now, and so instead I teleported home, of all things, but there was a reason for this. I jumped down the nearest tunnel and started making my way toward the goblin Tinkerer, who had spawned just a short time ago. I am certain some of the hunters will be camping around that guy, but I need to take that risk. The benefit of rocket boots and a tinkerer's workshop is just too great to pass up. Nobody seemed to be paying attention because the only person I encountered was S43, who was just peacefully mining. I killed him, but I still had a glowing mushroom field between me and the goblin. And while I was there, somebody spawned Queen Bee, and I discovered someone had killed the Aya Cthulhu. That's just too many things happening all at once. Marshmallow had also come up to me, but still had no gear, so I guess I'll give him an A for effort for being the only person apparently chasing me down. The Queen Bee was a strategy some of the others were trying to use to find me, but the bee was not targeting me at all, so she just turned into a menace for the hunters instead. I found my way into the tundra, where I ran into a hunter whom I forced to retreat. At this point, many of the hunters were occupied with the bees, so I took a moment to finally craft full jungle armor, a blade of grass, and a space gun since I got meteor bars in a chest earlier. Not the best stuff, but still good stuff. But the hunters were getting close to taking down Queen Bee, and I had a plan. Maybe, just maybe, I could go up there, kill the bee, and sneak the loot out from under them. I teleported home and slaughtered three hunters along the path. There were still several others, but the Queen Bee was targeting me, and nobody was in my way. I just had to keep running, but wait, no, she's targeting the hunters, no, stay on me. Now it's targeting Hunter Cosmo, and he's got a Light's Bane, which is just deadly enough to be a real threat. Cosmo on top of the other hunters joining the fray pushed me back, and despite a desperate attempt to tank their damage, Queen Bee died and the hunters grabbed the loot first. That sucks, but I can't pause my frustration. I immediately use a recall and flee to the right side of the world. Now I was out in the open and vulnerable and had accomplished nothing. I rushed down the corruption, intending to blow up shadow orbs and beat the Eater of Worlds. I suppose there isn't necessarily anything I need from it, but I wanted to take down a boss on my own to make a point. Unfortunately, all the orbs had been broken except one, and that wasn't enough to spawn the worm. I know there's a corruption on the other side of the world, and Spawn likely had a bunch of hunters, so I used my first teleportation potion, and it brought me within spitting distance of the biome I was seeking. What luck! I mined straight up to the corruption and took down the worm all on my own. 
At least now I can say I've made some sort of progress. I went up to the surface where I spotted a meteor. I didn't necessarily need any of it, but stealing the meteor would prevent the hunters from getting any of it, and that was worth it in my mind. Only problem is, Calamitous, one of the hunters, showed up at the same time and he's got the high ground. At first, it was just Calamitous, and although his arrows didn't do too much damage, the knockback kept me from closing the distance and allowing me to use my best weapon, the Pixaw. But then, Calamitous made a mistake and fell down to my level, but he wasn't alone. Gun Hunter joined in on the scrap, and the moment I killed Calamitous, Cosmo also joined, and by the skin of my teeth, I managed to kill all three of them. That was two blows, and I still have 10 of my lives left. You might think that this means I'm blowing them away, but that's only because they are still gearing up. The gap in our power has been slowly vanishing. I mined straight down but found nothing and thought I'd return to the surface and get to the right side of the world as fast as possible. The dungeon is over there and I was hoping to spawn Skeletron, get in a couple of hits, and then see if the hunters would finish him off for me. My plan was almost thwarted immediately when S-43 appeared along the path of the Diamond Staff. The hunters already have better weapons than I do, and so these fights are becoming harder and harder to deal with. I snuck past him, but S-43 was still alive, and he along with several others were on my tail. I finally made my way to the desert. See, I actually wasn't going for the dungeon first. That's just what I wanted the hunters to think. What I really wanted was the conch, so when I found the desert, I mined straight down, but to my dismay, there was no underground desert here. Guess the dungeon is my only option, and I wasn't going to go back up the hole I had made because the hunters might be there, so I started mining. But that was a mistake too, because it took no time at all for the hunters to catch up. He actually got up? No! <laughs> Right next door was the dungeon, where three hunters were waiting. I killed one of them and tried to summon Skeletron, but it's not actually night! No! I need it to be night! I tried killing off the two hunters, but they ran away and... Oh no, they're going to spawn Dungeon Guardians to do their dirty work. And worse yet, the other hunters had caught up. My best option at this point is to use a teleportation potion. The face ah. off of the dungeon, fellas. He pulled it away. He's not he's here He went home. Wait, no, he's just ah. teleported randomly. He's on the surface, though. He just, yep. He'd be to the left now. It. He's at the left. He's somewhere to... Wait. What? That no, he's did at not the bring me very far! He's the right ocean! That was not He's at the right ocean! He teleported to the right ocean! Go, go! That has got to be some of the worst luck I could have asked for. <laughs> I wasn't even sure what to do at this point. The hunters had spawned Skeletron and I was sure they could beat him. So if I didn't stay nearby, then the hunters could loot the dungeon and leave me with nothing. I tried to juke them a bit by mining underneath the ocean and sure enough, Skeletron fell. They had already killed him. I could have mined to the dungeon from here, but there's no telling that the hunters are going to be on my tail, and all they'd have to do is run down these tunnels like they have done before, so in desperation, I went to spawn and use a gravitation potion to bring me up to the sky, at which point I could float in the space layer to prevent the hunters watching the stream from knowing my exact location. I made it to the dungeon, where a few hunters were already exploring, and I knew that the moment I entered, I would be in a very limited timetable. I had to find a key, and fast, and sure enough, I did. Better yet, the first golden chest down here was not open, so I rushed up there and grabbed the Muramasa for myself. But wait, that means I can easily make the Knight's Edge. With that weapon, I can at last be the most powerful person on the server. I made a beeline to the underworld. I opened a shadow chest and got the lance before drinking an obsidian skin potion and getting to work collecting the hellstone that I could. Hunters Marshmallow and S43 tried to stop me down here, but they both fell without me even breaking a sweat. I mined a little while longer when a few more hunters found me and one of them, number five, yes, that's what he named himself, had a flame lash. Not liking my odds against that, I teleported home where a goblin army and several hunters were waiting. I was immediately swarmed and desperately used a teleportation potion to escape. There you Are go! You kidding he's, me? he's at the surface, he's at the Are surface! Are you kidding me? Why? There Why? you go! This teleportation potion brought me nowhere! Ah! 
I am having the absolute worst of luck with these things, but I did give them the slip for now, and I started mining down the tundra to escape, but they found me in no time. There's nothing here. How are there you might so be fast? Something there. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, come on, fight. come on. You wanna fight? Yeah, I do. I win. Oh, there's another one. Wait, I think there's another one. I'm coming, I'm coming. Do not let him cook. I'm being. Oh, yes. Bombs for the win. Stop him. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Oh no. What did I just do? No! <laughs> and there's the first death. The hunters are now more than capable of soloing me, and I'm left in an awkward position. I am sweating bullets. If they see the Muramasa, they could make me trash it and remove any chance I have at getting the Knight's Edge. I gulp and wait only for them to tell me to drop my teleportation potions. That hurts, but at least I can still get a good weapon. I get a little bit of a head start since spawn camping me wouldn't be any fun, but they are only maybe 30 or so blocks behind me. I rush to the corruption and jump down, but I can't craft the Knight's Edge yet. I need more obsidian to craft Hellstone Bars. After a long, hot pursuit, I just barely escape. I find the nearest obsidian possible, set up a crafting station, and get kitted out with Hellstone gear and make the volcano. I'm ready. I just have to get to a demon altar. I could go to the one on the right, but I head to the left instead, fearing that the one on the right was just too close to spawn. But on my way to the left, I'm cut off. To oh, the jungle, crap. the mighty jungle. The How's it going? Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh, sorry, no! Crimean Paladin. I, got, I have him, I have him. Someone's somebody TP, somebody TP. Someone's flanking, him. flanking him. Just about all the hunters have far superior ranged weapons than my little space gun, and the knockback makes it impossible to close the distance. I'm forced to flee, but I can't escape, so I recall home. The hunters soon follow, and I have to thread the needle between fiery bats and magical spells as I am forced to rely on the corruption near spawn while at almost zero health. There's no way they won't notice the Muramasa a second time. This is my only chance. What are you even trying to get? Nothing. I have no idea what he's trying to get, honestly. Oh, he's gonna cast him in the left. Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding? Cast him in the corruption. Oh, All he right, died. That is, Thank another, God. Okay. that is another item. At the perfectly wrong time. Excellent work, fellas. Of all the rotten luck. And I feel like that's been a theme so far. I've been getting the worst, most rotten luck. I just have to hope they miss it once again. I think you should drop Muramasa. Muramasa. All right, yeah. Drop Muramasa. Jack, the Muramasa stupid me. worm! I'm down to eight lives, and they have stripped me of my best opportunity for a weapon. I head to the dungeon, but not for the reason you might think. See, the hunters will assume I'm trying to get a new Muramasa, but instead, I intend on mining straight through the dungeon and into the underworld. From there, I built a house, hoping the guide would spawn in that little box. I also am the one and only person who has the privilege to move NPCs, so the only way the hunters can stop me is by destroying the house itself. Only problem is, I might have to get the guide to spawn on the surface before I can move him in down here. But how am I going to make surface houses safely? Well, perhaps a conch could bring me to the ocean in a flash and give me the time. So I went to the only desert I hadn't checked for an underground yet, and sure enough, it was there. But my bad luck streak wouldn't let up. After looting four chests, I was conchless, and one of the hunters just so happened to find a conch himself while pursuing me. At which point, having one of my own was pretty much pointless. I desperately started making houses underground, praying the guide would spawn, but not just him. Getting the Goblin Tinker would be just as game-changing. But then, remember how trap chests are a threat since I instinctually want to open them as fast as possible? Now I'm down to only seven lives and the hunters forced me to drop my recall potions. I am running out of ways to flee and fast, but I do have some gravitation potions, so I use one to get away. I thought I was being smart hitting the ground immediately after using a gravitation potion and mining down rather than flying away, but that would only work if I wasn't streaming the whole thing for the hunters to see. Whoops. <laughs> I was pursued the whole way down to the underworld where Dr. Millie revealed he's got a magic missile and I simply have nothing to counteract it. Six lives and not even in hard mode. Things are looking bleak. 
They make me drop a voodoo doll I found earlier, and I retreat to space once more, but Dr. Millie is already on my tail along with Marshmallow, both of which have a homing weapon. I do everything I can, but am no match against a Flame Lash magic missile duo. Five lives. The hunters make me drop my hellstone, and I'm desperate for ideas. The guide wasn't spawning, and without him, I can do nothing. In desperation, I flew as far as I could on a gravitation potion and started setting up houses. I thought I could maybe keep them around just long enough when this happened. Rorvin is giving me advertisement. No! Where did you come from? He's giving me what? advertisement. Wow. Wait, wait, no. he's doing surface houses. He's doing surface houses. Yeah, I know. I was flying above him invisible. He didn't know I was yeah. there. I blew him up. I, yeah. saw, yeah. I saw the stream. Yeah. I saw the stream. <laughs> no! Nuclear bomb. And now I have no means of teleporting, and thus no clear way to escape. I am cornered at the ocean, where I had a plan to kill them with my lava bombs. But then I threw one and blew myself up instead, so... uh yeah, that didn't go very well. <laughs> Four lives and I have to drop my Hellforge. I only have one idea left, and it's the Sky Islands. They all look so similar to each other that maybe I can confuse them with which one I'm actually at, and maybe it'll take them a little while to build up to these islands. I was wrong. Yeah, there he is! No! Guys, teleport to me and Dr. Millie, we're at the uh, Sky no! Island with him. Where are you guys? In Sky Island, we found him. He's your up name, here with your us. Your name, name, name. Marshmallow, I'm Marshmallow. That escape attempt worked out way better than my last one, and I floated all the way over to the next island where I was sure I'd have some time. But then Hunter number five appeared out of nowhere. Hey, Wait, I'm what? Going, How did you get up I found him, I found him. Number five was well equipped to pursue me, but he was missing every single shot, and while I was laughing at that, I nearly missed the fact that the wall had been summoned. Hard mode? was right around the corner. It's tempting to think this is a good thing, but I don't have the weaponry to handle hard mode enemies, and the reason the hunters made me drop the Hellforge earlier was because one of them took the time to mine all the other Hellforges, thus preventing me from ever crafting hard mode bars. Or at least not titanium. I forget if I can craft cobalt or mithril with a regular furnace. They beat the wall as I was still being pursued, and I had a genius moment that let me escape. I still have some gravitation potion left, so I reversed gravity and mined it downwards while in the dark, so that way it looked as though I were mining into the earth and not towards the surface. Ingenious, right? This gave the hunters the slip. How did you get here so fast? What the heck? I guess it would have been smarter to pretend to be mining upwards while actually mining down since the surface is kind of a giveaway. <laughs> Uh, I did manage to escape for a time, but Marshmallow caught back up and his Dark Lance had too much range for me to handle. In hindsight, I should have been using my own Dark Lance, but live and learn, I guess. Three lives, no more Volcano, and no hard mode bosses beaten. I flew into space, trying to think of a strategy, when a Wyvern suddenly spawned. Oh! Right, we're in hard mode now, and I have absolutely no way of dealing with this thing. Plus, I'm not far from spawn, so the hunters combined with the wyvern is an easy kill. Now I have two lives and I've lost my molten fury, but hope is not quite lost yet. I can still mine the hard mode ores and maybe, just maybe, I can craft some cobalt gear that'll give me a leg up over the hunters. I just need to see if I can find a Hellforge they missed or else steal the one they've been using. Mind a good amount of ore before being pursued to the surface, then pursued across the surface until I came across a unicorn. Perhaps it was a long shot, but I stuck around to kill it praying for a blessed apple. But that was too much to ask for. Remember, I have terrible luck in this run. <laughs> I still escaped, but soon after, some of the hunters found just the right cave with which to cut me off and kill me again. One life, and I have to beat the game. It's basically over, but I'm not the type to just up and quit. We're fighting to the very end, boys. I just need to slip past them once more. And last time I went to the desert, it really gave them a lot of trouble. So that's where I'll make my escape. Chain knives are not working. Yeah. 
Let's go, GG. It's G -G. a hard mode desert. Yeah, what were you doing down there? I was just thinking I was going to die down there. It was easier to escape in the desert. That's where you rizz up the gap before you get okay. Ohio. I totally forgot we're in hard mode again, and the hard mode desert is, well, super dangerous. Ah, uh, that was a bit anticlimactic, but I guess I have lost another event to my viewers, making us 2 and 0. Oh. And if you want to join events like this in the future, you have to be a member of my Discord. I don't know when the next one will be, but we're a pretty chill bunch, so come and join us and see you in the next one.